What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about multiple topics in this video here again today. We'll be talking about Halloween ends, even though I just did a Halloween ends video. Halloween ends, Chucky Season 2, Jeepers Creepers 4, and the new Hellraiser movie. So just to kick it off with Halloween ends, we got a new image released from USA Today. Uh, release showcasing Laurie Strode and Michael Myers brawling once again. Now, in this image, this seems to be like something that's a callback to what happened between Michael and Laurie in that 78 original movie. But is that Corey? Maybe. But again, the attempt that you see here of Michael, I'm, I'm going to assume this one is actually Michael. The attempt of stabbing her with a knitting needle would have me think Michael Myers knows who this is and wants some payback from not only those 78 events and her trying to burn him alive uh, from four years ago. Not only those seven, those 78 events, but also wanting from her wanting to burn him alive four years ago or what it could be, because I know some people would think that this this is a sign that he remembers her. It could be that all he's remembering is that this is the woman who tried to burn me four years ago and he might not even remember anything from 78. I do want to throw that out there because that is a possibility. Also, a track list, just to talk about two other things related to Halloween, a track list of the soundtrack was recently unveiled, but not by anyone officially attached to the movie. Some track titles further establish a relationship of sorts that will go down between Corey and Michael in the upcoming movie. And the last thing regarding Halloween I'll address in this video is Danielle Harris, who put out a Facebook post in honor of the 15th anniversary of Rob Zombie's Halloween, I believe. And she thanked the fans and everything like that and the horror community, community but concluded by stating that jamie and her uncle michael should do battle one more time and i do i don't think that's going to happen but i'd love to see an attempt because i know a lot of you would want to see them tackle the halloween 4 timeline again by or the thorn timeline i guess you'll call it by doing a direct sequel to halloween 4 so we'll see if that ever comes to fruition i don't think it's going to happen personally but again if that's the next step they take i'm not against it and i would love to see daniel harris back if they decide to ignore five and six and just do a direct sequel to four set many years later with, with of course again another iteration of a much older michael myers but jumping into hellraiser Hellraiser has released, or I guess I'll say USA Today, because they released several new images today, including that Halloween ends one I just talked about. They released a new look at Jamie Clayton as Pinhead in the upcoming Hulu reimagining that's coming out next month. Uh, again, I dig the look, but of course I need to see the entire context and witness Jamie's performance before I completely sign off on being a fan of the entire new Pinhead iteration. The look again is amazing to me, and I'm predicting this movie will in some fashion tie itself to that original beyond just having a new Pinhead. I think there might, there might be an explanation given to us as to why the character of Elliot Spencer is absent. And if they don't do that, that's fine. But again, going off of the fact that he brought through that being has established that this is not a remake. It's just a part of an, ex an extended universe they might be trying to set up. I think there's going to be ties to that original movie that will be addressed as to why Jamie Clayton is the new Hell Priestess and the new Pinhead. So the teaser we have gotten might have been enough for some people i do think an extended look at the movie will be released before that before that october release next month and give us a better understanding of our main character what they'll be dealing with since they seem to be uh from what was detailed in the plot details a drug addict learning learning a little bit about them seeing what they're grappling with learning how they come into possession of the configuration box maybe seeing how they come into the grasp also even beyond that of figuring out the configuration box and becoming into the grasp or falling into the grasp of the cenobites and pinhead herself and again maybe just showing us a glimpse of how this might be tied to previous installments i can't wait for this movie i know a lot of you are big fans of what david bruckner has done in the past with the horror movies he's put out that can't wait to see what he's doing with this new spin of hellraiser as well so we'll see what happens but just to jump into jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers 4 has had an image spotted and shared around from the ig story now this image you see here of course is of none other than d wallace who's a big name known in the horror community uh, or a well-known name i'll say in the horror community so this is her with her on-screen partner for the upcoming film and they clearly seem to be recreating a shot from jeepers creepers with trisha and Derry. but where is this pipe located because this is clearly a pipe they're looking down i don't know where it is but perhaps it's at the tagger barn because to my knowledge these characters will be named ron and marie so this is definitely a nod to the real life events 
that inspired that first Jeepers movie. So D also appeared to be in a cult from another image. So again, I don't know how this is going to play out if she ends up being a servant to this thing later on in the movie. Could this actually be Trisha and Derry's parents going out of the way to find Derry maybe after Trisha returned home without him and they get killed for their efforts? Maybe, because two things should not be going down. One, this should not be set in, in what, what I remember from what I saw on paper, if that was legit. This should not be set in the year of 1991, because that makes no sense. And it also should not be them looking down the pipe of the same location that was burnt down in that first movie. If they somehow are setting this at the same location from that first movie and saying that that church didn't burn down, did not burn down, that's that's easily going to that's that's detractions right there. That simple stuff like that. Pay attention to that stuff. That's that's major stuff, actually. And it's very simple to just pay attention to that. So if there's some logical fallacies with that, this will get deducted points. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to seeing what her role will end up being. I'm expecting her to have one of the more favorable performances in the movie, honestly. But just to jump into Chucky season two, Chucky season two has wrapped and Don Mancini shared an image of Bella Higginbottom or Botham. I don't I'm really sure how you pronounce the last name. So I apologize. Who will star as a character named Nadine in Chucky season two. Now, if you want to see her, I'll leave a link to the post in the description. Nadine's attire in this post that Mancini shared seems to suggest that she'll be at school with Jake, Lexi and Devin. One thing I'm I might not be alone in this, but it seems like this is a lot of this second season will pay homage to Child's Play 3. Maybe a lot of it will heavily be an homage to Child's Play 3, given that Chucky's already infiltrated a military school, caused havoc there. And then, of course, the fact that even in the teaser, we see a little callback to a death that occurred in Child's Play 3, where Chucky didn't even have to do anything. An individual just died on their own accord out of out of pure fear. Uh, so I, I think a lot of this will be an homage and callback to Child's Play 3. But we'll see who Nadine and who Nadine is because nothing was revealed there and what her role will end up being with Jake, Le Lexi, and Devin. I'm predicting she'll just be a big problem for them, honestly, but we'll see. If you guys haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and there is video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And if you're someone who's a Chucky fan curious when I'll get to see it, I was told that I should be able to see it later this month. And I'll have recaps every week when the episodes drop like last year. Well, with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.